Pretty much always been good with Carla. Well, Carla and I made up, uh, you know, several years, like when Mob Wives ended. And yeah, I don't have anything against anybody. I don't speak with Drita, never will speak with Drita. That's just, you know, next. Did you try it all? Like, did you feel, or I did, did you did send you did? her uh, a text message. Um, a, not this last time I got sober, the time before that, that I was trying. Um, but then I thought about the fact that she wasn't at my father's wake. And not for me, because I don't really care, but for my sister. You said you were my sister's friends, but you didn't show up for something so important. So I don't need to hate on her. I just don't need to. It, it's God bless you and your kids. I wish you well over there. Right. Right. That's about it. That's a good, you know, that's how I am with people. I'm like, I think the older you get, you just, I'm not mad. There's no drama. I'm just, we're done. I'm walking away. And right. I truly wish you the absolute best. Right. I just truly want nothing to do with you. And uh, that's just exactly. said with a smile. And there's nothing wrong no. with that. You don't have to be friends with anybody you don't want to be friends. Right. And they don't have to be friends with you either. Right. So over there. Right. That's how I see it. Why do you think, I mean, having nothing to do with you, because Drita is very vocal, uh, just like, I want nothing to do with any of you. I want nothing to do with mob wives. Correct. Why? Why? I don't get that. Um, like, why do you think? I'm just curious. I think she wasn't happy that Carla came back in the end. She felt like that was, because she got, it, she got, um, what's, blindsided. And she didn't like that. Because she, you know, Drita thought it was the Drita show. Yeah. Um, you know, at the end of the day, Drita was a huge part of Mob Wives. Absolutely hilarious. But it was not her show. It was our show. And technically, it was my sister's show. And that's really where the hate comes in. Everybody had a problem with Jennifer. Not everybody. She had a problem with her. And, you know, after... Uh, Speaking to my sister in um, detail, you know, I was very upset. I thought I deserved, like, these residuals. Well, I wasn't aware that we don't get them. Like, so, not now. But that's why Bethany is pushing for it. Right. So we weren't entitled to that. So, But I didn't know that. So I was, uh, I guess I jumped on the bandwagon with everybody else. And then when it was explained to me, and I was clear-headed, I was able to understand, oh, fuck, I made a mistake. Right. Which I did. Right. Like, you guys were talent, not producers. Correct. And so it's a different residual. It is. Like, no, we is don't get none. one at right. all. Right. Which I that's, think, I think is, that's which what I, I think is extremely unfair. Right. I, I think that they look at us like, we don't get health insurance. We don't get sick. I think that's bullshit. Because if people are tuning in to watch us, granted it's my life, but my life is a fucking movie. So pay me like I'm an actress. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so th or at least give us the benefits that you know we should have. Just because we're not actors or actors doesn't mean we're not giving you our life. On I think we give you more because we're giving you. Well, not a, not everybody is real. Not right. everybody. Not is Not everybody. Real. No, definitely not. That's true, right. And people that had a problem with your sister, that's not you. That's like they need to realize you're two different people. They. That's why the, there's also a forgiveness for me because they. Right. that's my sister. I'm going to go to war for my sister. And I think I had to separate from that to, to uh, make good for what I did wrong. And that's right. my business, and I did. Karen talks to my sister. Everybody talks. It's just... We did a job, we finished it, move on. That's it. Right. And she was a producer. It is a she's producer. She's not just a producer. She's the creator. creator. She created it. She produced it. It's her baby. Yeah. Hers. We just happen to be, listen, it's it's this simple. She was the mother and we were the 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 Children. Yeah, in the belly. <laughs> yeah, no, the it's The belly true. of the beast, we were. Mob Wise was, was a beast. It was, it was a, beast. a beast. Absolutely. And it was a great one. It was, listen, it was, a, and I'm not just saying that because you see, I now I have to watch so much TV for this job. And I can tell you, there's like, 
I don't know. There's no. very little that I enjoy as Nothing much as I like enjoyed Mob Wives. Wives in the day. Right, because Mob Wives was actually like a lot of a lot of it was in real time. So you don't usually get that yeah. real time. Like you're getting that now. You got that with Erica Jane. And you got it with uh, and you're, we're going to talk about Erica Jane ahead. in oh a my, little bit. I love her. I know you love her. Um, well, we're going to talk about that. But oh. before we get there, just staying on this for a minute, I did happen to – you know, this is why we scheduled this three weeks ago. All yep. this stuff has come up in three weeks that I didn't realize. Just recently, I don't know if you saw this, Drita spoke to TMZ. Did you see this? She says that they – and I'm not coming for Drita because I don't need Drita coming for me. Not that I can't handle myself, girl. I'm sure. But Drita says to TMZ, like recently, like in the past few days, that they are making a scripted series that she is developing with a major studio about her life. Interesting. Do you, I mean, is this, do you believe Ooh, this? interesting. Do you believe it? No, not at all. But if it happens for her, God bless her. But I think that, yes, that would be very interesting, her life. I'd like to see where it is actually interesting. Yeah. And I'm not even, I just think, you know, I, I, being in the business, you hear people, everyone's developing it. So I'm just like, I just... Have you heard of that from anyone else I, um, on the streets, the word on the streets? No, there is no word on the street at all. But if that is her truth, God bless her. Absolutely. I personally don't believe it. You know what I mean? That's 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 me. Um, everybody has shows. Everybody's doing this. Everybody's doing that. Me included. I filmed my fairy mob mother. I filmed it. It. Um, I relapsed right afterwards. It was way too heavy for me of a show to talk about my rape and my abuse and the person that was was filming it with me didn't do her part 100%, so therefore we had to tell story. She didn't want to come on the show and say, hey, I, you know, I, it was an addiction, so it was played differently and um, it caused, uh, it caused me to take a, another look at myself, which... That was my relapse. So, I mean, people do say they're having shows, you know. We've, this is going on for a really long time. Again, I I would like to see where it's so interesting that they're going to develop a show, a major network. Well, she said that she, no one ever really got to know her on Mob Wives, that she was the outsider, that you all grew up very rich and she grew up poor and she came onto the show and she was the outsider and the one that didn't belong and we never really saw her story. You're smiling. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, making, I'm, I'm smiling not, I, I have because, no agenda in this question. I mean, I'm just it's, asking. It's, a, it's fucking hilarious to me. Like, if let's call a spade a spade. Where is your life so fucking interesting? Where? Because you were poor. Half of America's poor. And guess what? I'm sorry that my father made money in the street. I respect her father. Her father was a college coach, professional. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you can't be mad that somebody had more money than the next person. And 